in the previous video lesson we discussed just opposite of this there we discussed the greatest integer function or floor function and here we're going to talk about the smallest integer function just opposite and uh, there we learn floor here we are learning ceiling <laughs> right so ceiling function or smallest integer function uh, this is a type of uh, step function okay so uh, how should we understand so here i have a function let's say f of x and see the symbol of ceiling all right ceiling function all right this is the symbol for the ceiling function and i'm going to insert i'm going to put a small uh, real number x inside that so this is the representation of the ceiling function and here let me tell you x is 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 any real number and when i'm putting this x into the ceiling function into the symbol of ceiling function then it represents always and always a smallest integer equal to x or greater than x and keep in mind all right equal to x if x is equal to integer if that time if if x is an integer then that time it will be equal to x but if this will be greater than x you know the integer greater than just greater than x it will be if x is not equals to an integer keep in mind that all right so let me insert a number let's say 1.5 in this function ceiling function so ceiling function of 1.5 oh, oh my god oh my head got failed it's just like this okay so uh this represents as i told you is the smallest integer keep in mind it's a smallest integer the answer will be integer which will be equal to x all right we will get equal to x if x is integer keep in mind but here 1.5 is not an integer so we're not going to get integer so in this case we have to go for the second second line that is greater than x so integer that is just greater than x and what is the integer that is greater than x let me go to the number line again 0 1 2 3 4 here minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 similarly a lot all right so here we have 1.5 1.5 will be between 1 and 2 this is 1.5 and now the ceiling function of 1.5 will give me a uh, 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 integer which is equal to x x is not integer so i'm not going to take 1.5 and if it is not integer then we have to go to the greater than x so greater than 1.5 is 2 all right so the answer will be here 2 so the ceiling function of 1.5 all right so the ceiling of 1.5 will be 2 all right uh uh, in in this uh, this way, if you want to understand the smallest integer function, then 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 uh, greater than 1.5. You know, if you see greater than 1.5, there are hell number of integers, hell number of integers, two, three, four, five, six, blah 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 blah, a lot. There are a lot of integers, but among those all integers, the 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 smallest integer, the the very very smallest integer among those all integer is two. All right. So the smallest integer for 1.5 will be 2. Okay. Uh, even you can understand in the ceiling and floor concept also. Let's say this is 1, this is 2, this is 3. Okay. So uh, we are here 1.5. So 1.5 will be here somewhere. Right. This is 1.5. So let's say for a while my height is 1.5 okay and this is ceiling function so this will be ceiling for for me that time this time and this will be floor for me where i'm stepping is my floor and where my head is going to step that's my ceiling all right i just above my head that will be my ceiling so it's saying ceiling function so what is my ceiling when i'm standing 1.5 when i'm standing at one that time my ceiling will be two that's that's it all right if my height is 1.7 also if i'm i'm like like this much bigger also taller then also my ceiling will be this you know if i'm 1.8 then also it will be you know this one so whatever if i'm even like 1.1 1.1 if if my height is 1.1 that that time also my ceiling will be same two so ceiling means you know like where our head is going to strike if we jump all right that's two so so it means if we have 1.8 or 1.1 or 1.2 or 1.9 for whatever all right for those all numbers our ceiling will be common and that's two all right so that's why we say ceiling functions and let's say for a while i have now one all right so if i have one then what will be the uh, ceiling for one for one it will be one as as our definition is saying x will give you the smallest integer equal to x or greater than x all right so the guy who is who is of like one uh let's say one meter for him the smallest integer will be one only all right for him it will be only one among those all you know whatever the how many the bigger numbers are there how many the bigger integers are there that does not matter the smallest integer will be one only 
if, if someone is of two then for him this will be only the smallest integer right if you go above there are a lot of a lot of lot of uh, integers but among those all integers the smallest one is this two so if it is a perfect integer you'll get the perfect integers only right if it is three you'll get three and same thing applies for the negative numbers also let's say if I minus three then again I will get here minus three but what about if I'll get minus three point five all right minus three point five that time oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm gonna show you here all right uh, let me draw again you need to learn the chop of a thing uh, as we did in, in 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 previous video that time you know the chopping off was in positive number and now this time chopping off will work in negative number uh, I'll show you here it's zero minus one minus two you know and minus three and minus four so minus three point five will be somewhere so a guy of height three point five standing on four will have the ceiling minus three right it will be minus three a guy of height minus three point nine will have the ceiling of three again all right if the height is here then also ceiling will be three all right so if if it is like 2.9 2.9 will be somewhere here all right let's say the guy is standing on this three this is hand so the ceiling will be again this two so any number between this uh, minus two and three the smallest integer will be minus two okay so this time you know in this case is what you're doing you're just going to chop off this portion all right and you're going to get this one so all right so whatever like you're going to find out the smallest integer for let's say two nine nine point five six eight all right so that time this will be simply the ceiling function of this minus oh my god this is like this all right minus two point nine nine point five six eight just chop off this and you'll get minus two nine nine so chopping off works uh, in positive numbers in greatest integer function and uh, it works in negative numbers when if it is a uh, smallest integer function right let, 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 let's learn in graphical way some of you may be very very interested in learning in graphical method because that gives us a very very better understanding y let's say that is actually the ceiling function of x okay so you know how to find out now so I'm just gonna write here let's say it's 1 so we'll get 1 if it is 1.1 I'll get 2 if 1.9 I'll get 2 2 I'll get 2 if, if it's 2.5 I'll get 3 if it's 2.9 I'll get 3 if it is 3 I'll get 3 you know and let's take let's say 0 0.5 then it will be 1 you know uh, let's say 0 then 0 let's say minus 0 0.5 the ceiling will be 0 minus 0 0.9 the ceiling will be 0 uh, minus let's say 1 it will be minus 1 if it is 1.1 it will be minus 1 minus 1.5 it will be minus 1 minus 2 it will be minus 2 and all those number will get ceiling of 2 you know minus 2.5 you'll get minus 2 and so on so let's graph it uh, at 0 we have 0 all right at 0 we have 0 and if you have a little bigger than 0 0 0.5 let's say here then we are at one okay so we are at one so here here we have nothing here we have void okay one and all you know uh, till one if we are at one we're getting one so here so it's void here and then till here it's here and then now a little greater than one let's say a little greater than one oh, that's two all right even you're moving a little here slightly if you're moving then you're going to get at two all right so uh it's two so at one it is void at two but even a little you're moving you're going to get at two all right so for all these you'll be getting two till here but at exact two you know you'll be getting two and at three you'll get void and you know like if you move a little bigger than two like 2.5 2.5 is here you'll be getting three as you can see here you know 2.9 you'll be getting three and at three you'll get three okay so it's like this it's filled and if you move a little even greater than three then you'll get at four right so void exactly at three and those all like this you know till four not till five till four okay. now minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 will be here and for minus 0 0.5 we don't have to move anywhere because that's zero right and so this continues till here but except this 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 minus one at minus one we have to drop at minus one here it is and all the numbers uh, less than minus one will be getting here okay this will be here but at minus two you have to jump at here and here you'll get void okay similarly this will work till here and at minus three uh, the minus two will be void and you need to jump in y-axis 
here right because minus 3 you'll get minus 3 you know here it works still here but void at minus 4 similarly it works it works here but it will be void here right so it's something like this you know in this direction this side this time so this was the graph of the smallest integer function or you can say uh, a ceiling function or a step function further the properties and all this will be discussed in the next video because it's really getting longer right